Hello everyone, welcome to Farm Pro Tutorial Lesson 3 on Data Dictionary. So the main idea of using Data Dictionary is to transform those non-understandable data into an understandable form in displaying the report. Open the designer. First, we're going to create our DB query dataset. So in today's lesson, we will use customer for the data table. And as you can see, we have customer ID and the customer name, these two options. So in the real situation, when we are trying to edit the customer ID, as we know, the preview will be different customer ID, which is hard to understand, like different numbers or different letters. So that's why we are trying to use data dictionary to find the customer name to the corresponding customer ID for showing. Okay, so the next step is to hit the display button on the right hand pane. And under it, we're going to have our data dictionary setting. So we're going to change the type from data source to data query in more direct way. And in the data sets, we're going to have the DS1, which is going to be the data set we created on this menu. And the next step is to change the display value to consumer. So now let's hit the preview button. As you can see, even though on cell A1, we only have the customer ID, but the actually showing is going to be the corresponding customer name. So besides column name, we have a column index. This is another way to bind the data. So basically, the column index is going to be the different data column numbers. As you can see, one is going to be customer ID, two is going to be customer name. So this is just another way to bind the data. So we hit preview, and uh, we have the same result. So that was using data dictionary to change the looking for a set of data column. Also, we can directly customize a data dictionary. So in this situation, we write directly on the designer, for example, male and female. So under the same location, display data dictionary, we're going to change the type to custom. So in here, all we have to do is to fill in our actual value and write our display value. So we're going to write one and two for male and female, for example. And this is where we use a lot in data entry. And as you can see, male becomes one and the female becomes two. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.